lovely ladies. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is all the ladies where we do affordable fashion, cruelty free beauty and product reviews sometimes. And this is the long awaited Jones Road review. If you are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. This is where we do very honest reviews on beauty products and venture into UK high street and online retailers. We do mainly fashion hauls, but I'm venturing into a lot more cruelty free beauty this year because we've got some fab collaborations in the pipeline. Very, very exciting. Let's cut straight to the chase today. We are not using any artificial light. I've sat my phone, because this is what I film on, right by the studio window. So this is where you are going to get the best version of this makeup. Could it be the best or could it be the worst? We don't know. There has been an unbelievable amount of controversy, should I say. It is designed and created by Bobby Brown. We've all heard of Bobby Brown. However, she sold out to Estee Lauder a few years back and she signed an anti-compete, which meant that she could not bring her own range of beauty out because it would be considered competitive to her previously owned brand, Bobby Brown. So to cut to the chase, she's now out of that anti-compete and she has created this range of makeup, which is extremely clean. Hang on, let's, let's just cut to the most important fact here. And that is that Jones Road is cruelty free. Bobby Brown was never cruelty free. So she's created this very clean, cruelty free, natural brand. And this is what we are looking at today. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> just so you're aware, this is not how I normally speak. I lost my voice. This is it coming back, which is relieving. I'll just have a quick chat about this packaging because I do absolutely love it. So it comes in a box like this with Jones Road on it. You've got cool, clean makeup in the box like that. And it almost looks like it's been through the mill before it's even turned up inside. And I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I received this about a month ago and I've literally had to wait this long in order to do it. Um, so that is why this is very exciting for me. Loads of products. So we're not just talking about the, the foundation or the Miracle Balm. We are talking lots and lots of other products as well. So here are all of the products which I'm going to be applying to my face today. Um, let's just chat a little bit about the elephant in the room. And if you have been researching this brand, um, you will know that there's been a lot of controversy uh, about the consistency of these products. That's Cooper. <laughs> I'm assuming by the reviews that I've seen and by the chat that I've read, that this is a range which is not suitable for somebody who suffers from oily skin, potentially combination skin. So bear that in mind. I don't have oily or combination skin. It's pretty normal. But what I will say is I haven't applied any moisturizer today because of the fact that these products are supposed to be very oily. The brush I'm going to be using today for the foundation is actually by Bailey. And I got an entire set from Amazon, which I will link down below. They are very, very smooth and very dense. And that is what you need for a foundation such as this. Right, let's crack it open instead of chatting because chatting gets us nowhere. Let's open the, um, the foundation. Comes in a packaging like this. Now you may have noticed that I actually brought in two boxes earlier. This is actually my second delivery. Reason being, I ordered this in a beige um, and I'm gonna open it up. I think it's far too light for me. And I thought instead of risking it for a biscuit, ooh, Ooh, la la la. Uh, I would order the darker color. This is the packaging that it comes in. It is glass. Glass is the go-to for sustainable packaging because it's completely recyclable and the lid, which is plastic, uh, is also recyclable. It's a completely different consistency. So that is the foundation in the beige. As you can see, it's like a creamy, smooth mousse. The premise of this or the promise of this is that it creates a very, very minimal color and therefore a very minimal coverage. So this is not a foundation as anybody knows it. This is supposed to have the consistency of a tinted moisturizer, but more in a kind of gel solid form like this. Now, if you love your serums and you love your balms and you love anything oily like that, this is quite an exciting product to trial out. Right, I'm gonna open the other one. What I did notice with this one is they actually sent me the spatula and I didn't get that in the previous bag of goodies, but this is what they recommend 
recommend using in the foundation. I mean, whether you do or not is completely up to you. For me, it's a little bit of a faff. Just want to be able to stick it on my face. I think if I was, well, I know for definite if I was using this on a client. Oh, look, that is absolutely adorable. It's got Jones Road on it. If I was using this on a client, I would absolutely use a spatula or another clean instrument to take out the product. If you're constantly dip, 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 dop, 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 that is very, very unhygienic. I mean, okay, it's unhygienic for myself, but it's myself. If I'm prepared to do that, dip and dive, dip and dive, that's kind of my prerogative and your prerogative. I'm just going to scrape out a little bit and show you the colour. There we go. That is the beige. That looks like a really nice yellow undertone and actually very well suited. Let's open the medium. You can already see the oil. There's definitely a lot of oil in this one. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is probably going to need a little bit of a mix up. Can you see the oil at the bottom? That is pure oil. Right, I'm going to mix that in with the spatula. It's a messy deal. Look how loose that is. So there we go. That is the medium mixed in. I'm going back into the beige. And I'm going to give that a mix. I read this. You're supposed to break the seal and then it should all become super clear. I've given that a good mix up. So beige, medium, beige, medium, beige, medium. I haven't seen any other girls actually do that. I haven't actually seen anyone mix it up. Maybe this makes a difference. So that's beige. That's medium. We could do both, to be quite honest with you. We really could do both. It's like any foundation. This is probably my winter colour and this is probably my summer colour. Let's try rubbing in with my finger. Because I'm not using this on clients. I'm just using it on myself. It's very much supposed to be your skin, but better. And if that's the result that we get, then that's a good thing. So as I brush it in, it's actually getting tacky. I can feel it on my brush. Oh my God. <laughs> So that just shows you how tacky it is that a hair from my brush has actually got stuck to my face. Right, so we've got one layer on that side. You can see a difference. It has evened out my skin tone. It does look like skin, but better. For anyone who is wondering if I'm wearing lipstick or lip liner, I am not. I just had a lip blushing treatment and I'm on a day eight, day eight, day nine in. There's nothing on my lips at all apart from the tattoo. Here we go, ladies. You're not going to get a clearer image of this foundation. This this is completely natural light. Almost given a veil, a veil of coverage. So maybe that's what they should have called this. Jones Road Veil Foundation. Because it is more like a gentle softening um, and evening out of the skin. And there we go. So hopefully you can see that difference. That's with one layer um, of the beige and that is not. Right, the other side, I'm gonna go in with the medium, um, and then what I'll do is even out both sides, but at least then you get to see how the colors compare. This foundation comes in 12 different shades, which I think is actually quite an extensive range, considering it is a tinted moisturizer. Normally with tinted moisturizers, you get light, medium, dark, so it's a good range of shades. Right, clean brush, let's go in this side um, and see how this works. slight reddening that has definitely faded so there's there is coverage there there is coverage and if you don't have problem skin but you just want that slight coverage that evening out of the skin then this is absolutely it isn't it to me there's not a huge difference in color the medium definitely has more of a yellow undertone but saying that the beige also suits because coming in with the bronzer and the blusher that can all be lifted up with products to follow And it adds a little bit more beige to this side and a little bit of the medium to this side, just so we even out the complexion. And we are really testing its buildability here. I think if you can get over the fact that it is just so completely different to what you're used to, I think you could actually fall in love with this. So there we go. Answers on a postcard. Do you like it? Do you like the finish? Would you buy this? And we're only one product down. I'm happy. I'm really happy with this. So there we go. That's the beige. That's the medium. My face currently is a mixture of both. These come in at £42. There's 12 shades. And you can see on the website, they've used models of differing ages, differing ethnicities, it's very much for all skin tones. I believe there is a concealer pencil in here. And
and yes there is it's called the face pencil now it's very difficult to pick a color on a website so hopefully this is going to help some people maybe with a similar coloring to me this actually is getting lots of positive reviews some people are just using this and not using the foundation however natural you want to be it's a little bit of a touch up the areas that the foundation didn't get maybe just around the nose on the chin which always is the redder part of the face um, and potentially just under the eyes just to ping them out this is where the face pencil comes in to its own looking at the website this is actually voted number one best in black beauty so these must come in a variety of shades and that is a really really positive sign it also says it is a bestseller so 25 shades so, oh my goodness I went for shade 7 we're gonna run with it so for something like this it will just warm up with your own skin it's all about the touch with these pencils so I'm just gonna go in areas that I would just want to lighten up and cover actually once you break the seal quite productive and I'm going in with my fingers here Again, like I always say, just pat. You do not want to be moving the product from one side where you've put it where you want it to an area that you don't need it. So literally just pat. And there we have it. So you can definitely see a lightening under the eye area. And I tell you what, that blended in beautifully. This is definitely a no makeup makeup makeup, isn't it? <laughs> literally where I would add extra concealer under the eyes potentially around the nose which I have done just to show you and definitely on my chin let's go in this side just over that area which I believe the foundation has already covered up something quite organic about using your fingers isn't there I'm going with the ethos of this brand feel what your mama gave you <laughs> Using your fingers as well really helps to melt the product. And there we go. So that is the foundation in beige and medium. Then I've gone in with the number seven face pencil. Right, now for the exciting bit, which is to add the color. Let's have a look at the Miracle Balms. I have two Miracle Balms here and they are for two different purposes. I went for my perfect blusher shade and my perfect bronzer shade, I think. But this is all a trial and error, so who knows? Let's start with the bronzer color that I went for. I actually got it in bronze. Now, there's nine different shades for the Miracle Balm. So very, very briefly, Miracle Balm is the colorant of Jones Road. That's, I guess, how I would describe it. Blusher and bronzer and highlighter. So this is the Miracle Balm in bronze. This is the color I went for, for my bronzer. I have already had a little furkle on this. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm already excited just looking at it. But it was about a month ago that I did have a little push into here. Now, what they say is you've got to break the seal. So if I just go in there, I'm going to be really heated knee here if that is the right word when you put it on the skin it's quite a translucent color let's just get straight into this and see what it does Ooh, if i use all three of my fingers for this that's very not very subtle but very nice it's just adding a bit of life well i've got my brush um, and i'm just going to be a heathen and go in with my brush now again look it's very very oily so you will definitely need your own brushes uh, for this specific line but actually you might just get more payback can you see that this would be fantastic not over a foundation this would be good if you literally just have your natural skin but you just want to give yourself a little bit of extra color but there we go so that's I've used my brush now and actually you can see there's a lot more kickback with a brush so there we go now I am actually going to set this not all of it I am going to set just under the eyes and just certain maybe just down the nose or something because it is so shiny right now I'm going to go in with my W7 set it up love this stuff super cheap I would recommend it in a heartbeat it is loose so it's you know not particularly tidy again I just tapped it in Just on the chin. Because there was a little bit of payback there, wasn't there? And the end of the nose. You don't need to accentuate this nose, I tell you. Not too bothered about the forehead, Hugie, because I do like it to look a little shiny up there. That is literally what I wanted to do. Right, I'm dead, dead chuffed with that. That is going to be very much a go-to. God knows how long that's going to last, but there is a lot of product in there. These are £36 as well. So all nine shades are £36. It's a lot of product, and that is going to last a long time. I can guarantee you that. So I'm very, very happy about that. Right, the 
the other miracle balm I picked up was in Flushed. Now, I, oh, I don't know why. I, I was umming and ahhing about between Flushed and I believe there's one called Coral something. Miami Beach. And it was a toss-up between the two of them. And I don't know why, but I went for the Flushed. Maybe I just thought that was a little bit more natural. But I've got to say, Miami Beach looks very much up my street. It is more of a corally, orangey colour. However, the Flushed, and you'll see here, is more of a flushed colour. So it's more of that pretty English rose kind of look. Now, I'm going to go into my fingers with this. And again, what you're supposed to do is break the seal, warm it up. Blimey, it's a stubborn little bugger. Here we go. I'm just going to go straight in. The heathen that I am, that is the colour there. We're going to put some more oil on this baby. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this color is really pretty. Again, do you know what? I think the Miami Beach would have been beautiful, but I think this is so natural. This is the natural flushed color. Now, everyone's different. I concentrate on the apple of my cheek. With blusher, some people start quite high up and some people bring their blusher all the way up here. Blusher for me is when you're hot, <laughs> embarrassed, and it always appears here for me, a little bit over the nose. Let's help blend it out a little bit. There is so much going on right now. But what I would say is the blushes absolutely pack a punch. You do not need a lot at all. A very small amount just on the apples of your cheeks. Right, they have a brow pencil and I'm going to review it. It is this bad boy here. And of course I always buy in a brunette, even though I'm naturally a blonde. So very, very similar packaging to the face pencil. If this is like a chubby stick, well, it is like a chubby stick, but it's got a very pointy end, as you can see. These come in five different shades, which is actually, again, surprising. Normally it's blonde, brown, and black. Sometimes, if you're lucky, there's red or auburn, but this actually has five shades, which is fantastic. We are going to go in with the brown, and we're just going to see how this works. I've got a bit of a dodgy brow here, so I have to go underneath and colour it in, and then scoop it round. So there we can see the difference. It's defined it, it's thickened it, it came off, the payback was great. These are 22 pounds though, so they're not cheap. There you go. Not much more to do there. I mean, with, uh, with eyebrows, you kind of, you just have to follow your own natural line. But there you go, it's just a little bit of a definition on your natural eyebrow. And the key is to not study your brows. They're not twins, they're sisters. And it's very important to remember that. So we're gonna do this side now. You can already see that it has flattened. Again, probably high in emollient as well. So it's soft, it's going to come off quite easily, which is great, but at the same time, you're gonna to need to sharpen this bad boy quite regularly. But as you can see, look, it's actually very good. Hmm. I might fall in love with this the more I use it. That pencil was good. I would recommend it. It's £22 though. But if you are normally struggling to find the right shade for your eyebrow pencil, then obviously having five different shades, that might help you in that respect. Right, let's move on. We've got a tiny little eyeshadow. A little breakaway from the oil would be incredible. Oh, look. It's the Diddy Diddy Jones Road tub. It's glass. So that's absolutely fab. These are actually called Just a Sec. There's six shades in this, so not huge. But again, this is showing the whole naturalness of this brand. You're not going to be getting your bright neon colours. This is very much about the natural shades and accentuating our natural colour base, if you know what I mean. Right, let's have a little look at this. So it looks like a powder, but it feels like, yeah, it does feel cushiony, exactly how it said on the website. It's a cushiony texture and very weightless. Wow, okay, we'll just go straight ahead and pop it on. Now we're gonna be doing this with our fingers. Okay, so let's go. This is beautiful. There's no fallout at all. So I can keep going back in there with my finger or whatever, and I can just keep packing it away and it's not dropping onto my cheek, which, and can I tell you, I'm all about ease. There we go. So a very subtle bronze, creamy eyeshadow. These are a whopping 25 pounds. 25 pounds for that teeny tiny, I mean, yes, it's going to last a long time, but it's 25 pounds for one little color. The jury's out on that. Right, let's move on to the best pencil. It's actually called The Best Pencil. And looking at it, it is a, another bestseller um, and it has won an award. It's a Best of Beauty Allure Award winner. So here she is. Again, very, very simple packaging. This one I got in brown. I very, very rarely buy black eyeliners these days. I like to keep it as 
au naturel as possible. Oh, that's nice packaging. It almost looks like it's a lid from something else and it shouldn't be on this, but I, li I like what they've done there. You very rarely get to see the raw wood, which is actually quite a nice touch. Ooh, that's a nice big pencil. Right, let's go straight in with this. I'm just gonna go underneath the eye. Beautiful. So normally I have to kind of warm it up on the back of my hand, uh, but actually, it's quite happy just gliding on the skin straight away. I always come to about three quarters of the way around the eye. I can just smudge it. Gives a little bit of definition around the eye. Simple, simple. And there we go. That is a very, very nice pencil. That is definitely going to be used regularly for me. Now I could easily go in the top and just kind of have a little bit of definition up here. Just in the corner there, just kind of helps to elongate the eye. And then just give it a little smudge in. It just gives a little bit of definition. I'm liking that. These are 22 pounds. So I think that's gonna be used a lot and it's gonna go a long way. Love that. Right. This is just so simple. They have one mascara. They have one colour, which is in the pitch black. £24 for this mascara. Now, you do tend to spend more money on a mascara because you're paying for the, not only the product, but the quality of the wand, because it's all about the wand. In my opinion, a microfiber wand is the best. This is actually a natural bristle. Uh, we will have a look in a second. A real killer feature uh, for this mascara, apparently, is its curved wand. So let's have a little look. Yes, there we go. It's that age-old question, isn't it? Do you have the curve going up so it lifts up the lash? or do you have the curve going down so it curls the lashes round? Now, as you know, I've got very short, straight, brittle eyelashes. You'll be seeing this on the worst. Oh, it's very black. I feel like this mascara is going to be buildable. Feels like it's really coating the lashes, but I feel like I need to now go in and really wiggle. Wow, 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 wow. This mascara is ridiculous. It's difficult to get used to it, but I'm gonna get used to it because this is packing a punch. It's a mascara that means business, I can tell you that much. I've got terribly short, fragile eyelashes and that is absolutely working on me. I'm not used to a wand this big, so every now and then I'm kind of getting it on my top lid, but I'm just gonna get used to that because I think this mascara is insane. And yes, it should have won an award. Um, so I think I mentioned this earlier, 24 pounds for that mascara. I would definitely, definitely recommend that. So that is a good one. I'm glad that we're doing all of the products. Uh, lip products, I have these two. I have a lip tint and then I got a lip and cheek stick. So I think what we'll do first is try on the lip tint. These come in nine different shades. This is the packaging. It's actually really nice. It's not plastic and aluminium almost. It's called the lip tint color on the go. So exactly what I kind of predicted. But the color I went for is just peachy, which is absolutely spot on. They had another incredible color called Valencia Orange, which I was tempted to go for, but as it's just a sweep on color, I thought just peachy was gonna be peachy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness. First time I've actually tried on any color since I've had my lips blushed, so let's give it a go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Obviously that's not just a sweep of colour, but that is like, I've done, I've gone over that two, three times. That is a really, really moisturising lip tint. I mean, I've done three layers, so you're gonna see more of an impact of the colour. I wanted you to see that, but every day, literally just dun, 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 mm, 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 done. And it's just a little flush of colour, which is awesome. So that is in Just Peachy. These come in nine different shades and they're 26 pounds. The final product that we're gonna try is the Lip and Cheek Stick. So this is a multi-purpose. I mean, to be fair, this could be multi-purpose. I could easily just put a little bit on my cheek and blend it in and voila, you'd have a little bit of blush as well. But this is actually specifically made for lip and cheek. It's bigger. You're going to use more on your cheek. It comes in eight different shades. I know what colour I got it in. It's going to blow my mind. Oh my giddy. That is the amount of product that you get. All right, we're going to give this a little go on the cheeks. Et voila. That is very, very pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I'm just going to go in a little bit more. You know me, I love my blusher. 
I love it. I love that blush. That is just perfect for me. It's more of a fun color compared to the blush from earlier. Do you know what? I probably should have got this in the Miami Beach. Then it would have been the same color as this. So actually having two, two different vibes. I'm gonna wipe this off and try it on my lips. You're supposed to probably just put it lightly on with your fingers. And again, it's just a sweep of color. I reckon if you built that up, you could even go directly on the lips. Because the pigments are so subtle and so translucent, you can build it up to get the desired color. Love, love, love that product. It comes in eight different shades. I love as well having the same color on the cheeks as the lips. It just brings the whole face in together. Right, ladies, that is the last item. But let me just tell you very, very quickly, my favorite products and ones that I would recommend that you buy. The bronzer was absolutely awesome. I got mine in bronze. Can't remember how much it was. I'll link it all down below for you. I've got to say, and I'm probably the only person on YouTube that actually really likes this foundation get used to the formula understand the formula and you will fall in love with it the pencil the eye pencil went on brilliantly it looks sharp the edge is good and it's not a bad price for something that's going to last you a long time the lip tint is perfect for your handbag like i said check out the colors on the website they are all absolutely gorgeous um, and the mascara so there we go i think jones road have had a harsh time i think people have overly judged the formula because they're not used to it and maybe i'm in a situation where i have seen other reviews therefore I knew what I was to expect. I've been as honest as possible. You've seen my skin in the natural light. You can hopefully build your own impression of the product and whether it will work for you or not. So you make up your own mind. I know what I think. Uh, right, ladies, thank you so much for being patient with me last week. It was obviously half term, so I didn't get to uh, do a video, but we're hitting the ground running. I've got so much exciting stuff in the pipeline. I've just signed a contract with Peacocks as well, which means you are getting a monthly Peacocks haul for the next at least 12 months. So I'm very very excited about that. Um, I've also got W7 coming for you. I've got Primark coming for you and I've got Apricot coming for you. And that's in the next two, three weeks. As usual, if you are new here and you have not yet pressed that subscribe button, please do. It's just down below. And it just means that you will be alerted if you press the bell when I upload videos. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. I've got to go and pick up my two boys from school. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a lovely week and I will see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye.